Hello everyone, this is the Green Snake Gamer playing Wario World. Continuing with Area 2. Okay, we gotta grab all the red diamonds, get all the gold statues, and find all the treasure. Let's get started. Spooktastic World, Wonky Circus. Right away we're attacked by these small clown enemies, quickly take care of them. Then head left, be careful of this cannon. After the third shot, there'll be a brief opening for you to cross safely. Okay, above us there's a Spriteling. But first I'm gonna use this pillar to take care of these clown enemies. We also have a red switch above us. Let's jump up on these platforms here and hit the red button. Let's also break this treasure chest in this little opening here. Now we're gonna move to the right, free the Spriteling. Okay, the enemies have respawned, so good thing they have another pillar here for me to use. Okay, as you can see on the left, we have another cannon we gotta dodge. Okay, above us is the red treasure chest, but I'm gonna take care of the clown enemies first. Okay, above us on these platforms, on our left here is the gold statue, above us is a challenge, and the red treasure chest here. This gives us the buggle. Okay, now we just gotta wait for these spikes to get out of the way, so we can climb up this ladder. Gotta climb up nice and slow. Okay, at the top here is the red diamond, and then make sure to go to the other side to collect the gold statue. Okay, be careful to dodge the cannon. It's also a treasure chest here to break on the right. Okay, that enemy didn't want to wait for us to come to him. Okay, ahead of us here is that clown fence that the Spriteling was talking about. As you can see, it has a moving target. What you gotta do is throw enemies into it to hit it. Every time you hit it, it gets smaller and faster, making it harder and harder to hit. The enemies will keep coming until you take down the fence. It takes three hits to destroy it. Okay, now up these stairs we have a few bird enemies to take care of. Okay, now let's get started on the challenge here. Okay, we gotta use these glue globes in order to climb up to the top. Okay, break this treasure chest. This gives us some garlic, but we're already at full health. Now at the back here, we gotta use these glue globes to jump over the spikes to get to the other side to collect the red diamond. Okay, we're gonna head left. Now first thing we're gonna do is go down this ladder. Down here we have another one of those big enemies that produce that barrier. Now be careful of this one's heat-seeking beam attack.
so keep moving, or you can take advantage of it and just use it to knock out the, en the smaller enemies for you. Okay, after you defeat him, we're attacked by more clown enemies. And that one clown is just so aggressive, just keeps sliding across the ground at me. Now don't defeat all of them, because as you can see there's an iron gate, so we're gonna need one of them, at least, to do the pile driver with. Okay, now we just need to make it to the other side. Whoops, went one too far. Okay, you just want to make it to the platform that's on the opposite side of where you started. As you can see, it raises up to the top. Now we just need to wait for it to get lined up with these gold coins. That will show us where we need to drop down. Make sure to collect the gold statue and the red diamond. Okay, now we can head back up the ladder. Now on our left here, we need to use this thing in order to get across this gap. It launches us across when we run into it. Climb up this ladder and go left. Make sure to press this yellow button. Now we gotta use this thing again to launch us to the other side, making sure it throws us through that gold statue. Here we have a glue globe. We need to keep going right. Gotta be careful and dodge this cannon to get over here to free the Spriteling. This one only fires two in a row, really fast. Okay, next we're gonna head left. Okay, now this is optional if you want to do this or not, but grab this ball and use the charge throw and throw it into the pins. You need to wait till you see the spotlight over the pins. By doing this, it gives us a treasure chest to break. Keep heading left. We have another glue globe we're waiting for. Now we need to ride the glue globe all the way to the top, and keep going left. Again, we have a cannon here that fires those cannonballs quickly. Here's the yellow treasure, and this gives us the tambourine. Now we can jump down. Okay, now we can head down here. Gotta be careful of those elephants behind us. Here's another challenge. Now we just gotta climb up this ladder, dodging the spike. Now I'm gonna go to the right side, and collect the gold statue. Now we gotta cross these white platforms to get to the red diamond in the middle. Those white platforms disappear very quickly as soon as you touch them. So move fast. We're gonna head left, here we got a glue globe to ride. Now keep going all the way to the left, cause there's a green button here to hit. Next we need to drop down. We're good, we don't need to heal. Now we gotta dodge these cannons to get down here to press that green button. Next we need to climb back up now that we've hit the green button. We need to get back on this glue globe, cause on the right side here is a green treasure. And this gives us the triangle. Okay, we need to go all the way to the bottom now. We don't need to heal. Go in this opening here. Here we have these gator enemies that are dressed like babies for some reason.
Okay, next, we're gonna climb down the ladder and just jump off. Down here is a treasure chest to break. We also have these big enemies. Now, on our left side, as you saw, there's an iron gate. So we need to borrow one of these guys. T is the pile driver move on. Okay, gotta be careful here and use the glue globes to get across. Okay, this gives us some garlic. We don't need that. We're at full health. Grab the red diamond. Okay, let's take care of these enemies. Need to head to the bottom. Don't break that platform under us yet. Climb up the ladder first. Now ahead of us is the snake enemy. Hit it a few times and then back off before it strikes. You gotta be very careful here because this platform is very narrow. As you can see, these snake enemies respawn very quickly. Okay, but at the end of this platform is another green treasure chest. This one gives us the clarinet. So now we can drop down and break that platform that was below the ladder. Now once we break it, as you can see, there's no way to get back up. So make sure you collect that treasure first. Now down here we have this red enemy to take care of. Okay, we're gonna head right. Now we just gotta grab onto this glue globe. Now we don't need to go ahead and heal, so we can keep going right. Here are some bird enemies to take care of. Now this one we gotta time our moves carefully. As you can see, those pipes shoot out fire. Okay, now we got an iron gate here, so we're gonna need to use an enemy to use the pile driver move on. Okay, this one can be a bit tricky to get the hang of. What you need to do is grab onto the glue globe and let go to let it as soon as it launches in order to fling you far enough to get the Spriteling and collect the red diamond. So as soon as it fires forward, you have to let go and use the momentum to launch you across. Now we just need to ride the glue globe up. Ride it all the way to the top, because at the top there is a blue button to hit. But be careful of the fire. Then use this other glue globe to keep going left. Okay, here we have two bird enemies.
Okay, we're gonna keep heading left. And we need to ride this glue globe. Gonna ride it all the way to the top, because up here is a sprite line. Okay, now we're gonna ride it all the way left. Down this ladder, and here's another glue globe to ride. And at the top of this ladder here is the blue treasure. This gives us the trombone. Now we just gotta make our way back. Okay, now you just need to hit these platforms in order to raise them. Then go all the way to the right, and here's a treasure chest to get some garlic. Now give both of these platforms a hit to raise them up. Then head right, here's a battle ring, we have one minute to take out as many enemies as we can. Okay, now keep heading right. Okay, I'm gonna jump down here first. Down here we have two elephant enemies. Now these enemies are very difficult to deal with, because they just keep charging. Okay, there's a treasure chest here to collect, to heal us with that garlic. There's also an electric clown fence, but we'll deal with that later. Climb back up. Now we have a glue globe here to ride. So ride it all the way to the top to hit this blue switch. Okay, now we're gonna go right. We have another glue globe to ride. We're gonna ride it to the top first. Be careful of this cannon here, to collect that gold statue. We need to go right down here, and here we have another glue globe to ride. Here's the blue treasure. And this gives us the sax. Another glue globe to ride. Now, below, we need to jump down to hit the purple switch. Now we just need to be careful and dodge this cannon. We also have a snake enemy down here. Now, we need to defeat this snake enemy to get past him, and then ahead of us, you can see we have that clown fence to take care of. This time we have two buttons that we need to break. So I'm gonna try using the spin attack to take care of both of them at once. Okay, we got one taken care of immediately. Just gotta be careful not to get too close. Oops, got a little too close to the fence. Okay, there we go. That quickly gets the fence out of our way. Now we need to make it all the way back to where we were before we drop down.
There are quite a few glue globes to ride in this level. They're all over the place. Okay, now let's pick up the purple treasure. This gives us the drum. Okay, now we got some more snake enemies, but on the wall on our right, you can see there's another button to press. So we're gonna need to use one of these enemies. Okay, there we go. Now onto the second snake enemy. Okay, on our right, you can see there's another one of those electric clown fences. So let's see if we can use the same method as before and use the spin attack. Again, gotta be careful not to get too close to the fence. I wish these enemies were a little taller. That would help a lot with this. Get a little too close to the fence again. Okay, but that takes care of the fence. Okay, now ahead of us we got another one of these clown enemies, as well as another one of these cage enemies. So let's head right, here's a turtle enemy, along with all these clowns. Get all of them out of the way. Okay, we have a challenge on our right, as well as a garlic guy to heal. I'm definitely gonna use this guy. I'm down a few hearts. Okay, let's get started with this challenge. Okay, now this one can be tricky. You need to let go just as it propels upward to use the momentum to throw you to the top. Up here is a Spriteling, make sure to free him. Okay, next we need to ride these rotating platforms to the other side to collect the red diamond here. Okay, now we need to use this glue globe to get to the top. I'm gonna start by going right. Gotta be careful of that fire. Okay, there's another iron gate, so we're gonna need to use the pile driver move. Okay, we got some more of those white platforms. These ones disappear as soon as you touch them, so you gotta be quick when jumping across. Then we gotta jump over these spikes. Oops, didn't quite get high enough. Okay, here we just gotta time it right. Okay, at the end here, collect the gold statue and the red diamond. Okay, on our right, you can see here's a treasure chest. So let's break it. This gives us the Nintendo 64. Okay, now we just need to use the glue globe to go left this time. Okay, we don't want to go up yet. You need to go all the way left in order to pick up the last gold statue. Now we just need to ride it to the top. Oops, the fire accidentally burned me and threw me off. Be careful of the fire. 
Get these clowns out of the way. Okay, I'm gonna heal again because I wanna make sure I'm at full health when fighting the boss. Okay, these enemies are pain because they respawn so quickly. Okay, you wanna stay on the bottom of the glue globe to avoid the fire. Okay, here we go. Now we can jump up here. Okay, here's the balloon to take you back to the start if you're missing something. Okay, we don't have to worry about that though. We got all the red diamonds, all the statue pieces, all the treasure, all the spritelings. We are good. So all that's left is to take care of the boss. Well, he sure looks happy, doesn't he? Okay, all we gotta do is wait for him to come over here. Take note of those glue globes on his ball. They'll make sense later. Okay, now you need to wait for him to take his head off and then start wailing on him. Okay, now you can just use a charge throw to throw him off the ledge. As you can see, he pulls his head off and they start to attack you. His real head is underneath that one. As you can see, attacking his body is pointless until he takes his head off. You can also use the pile driver move here in order to break his heads that he's using to attack you with. Now when he starts to run away, you want to make sure to grab onto one of the glue globes on his ball, because then he'll toss the ball, and it'll explode. Okay, he's gonna make a run for it again, so make sure to grab the glue globes. Now there are also these little openings on the sides of these platforms. They're there just in case you don't have time to grab onto one of these glue globes. Then just run to one of these openings and stand there to dodge the blast. Okay, doing pretty good so far. Just one more hit. Man, look at all these heads he has to attack me with. Okay, he's making a run for it. Okay, I didn't grab the glue globe, so all you gotta do is come over to w the, the openings on the sides. As you can see, it's a safe zone to dodge the blast, and then just wait for him to come back. Man, he's got too many heads here to attack me with. They're all over the place. Okay, just our last hit here. And that defeats the boss. So now we got the other half of the heart. So now we have a total of six hearts. Make sure to save. But again, I'm gonna go save manually. And this will be the end of Area 2, Spooktastic World, Wonky Circus.